This is going to be a video on how to network the Paramount CMS to your phone or tablet using the web UI. Okay. Uh, it's very simple to do, no port forwarding needed um, when utilizing the NAT server, which is what we're going to walk you through how to do today, which is like the QR code system. Uh, now, again, this is from the web UI. So this is if you have a computer and you're not using a local monitor off of the recorder uh, to, uh, to network, uh, to add it to the phone. Now, keep in mind the settings, if you were to do this off the local monitor, they're exactly the same. Everything's the same. We're accessing the recorder from the IP address of the, of the, uh, uh, that the NVR is. Okay, so if you know the IP address of the NVR by going to the network page, you can put this into your web browser. Keep in mind, you have to use Internet Explorer, blue E, yellow ring. So at this time, it's only compatible with that. Um, so, and you're gonna have to install a plugin the first time you log in. That's already installed on this PC. So you'll open up Internet Explorer, put in your IP address. I'm using the AutoNAT because I'm, I'm doing this from a remote location, um, which we can kind of cover in another uh, video of what the AutoNAT is. Uh, but that being said, you'll put in the IP address and you'll see exactly the same thing that I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, and again, if you were to do this off the local monitor, it's going to be literally the same process. Okay. Uh, the buttons might be in slightly different locations, um, but essentially you're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to go to the, you know, the, the labels of the items are going to be the same. The only thing that's different is you're not going to see something that says function panel on the local monitor. You're going to have a start button in the bottom left on the local monitor and you're going to hit settings. And then you, after you hit settings, you can pretty much follow along from there uh, with this video as well. Okay. So first thing you're going to do. Uh, so th these devices, the Paramount, the Paramount NVRs and DVRs, they're not Wi-Fi devices. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need to do is run a hard cable from the LAN port of the recorder all the way to your router. Okay. So you run the, you run your network connection. After you get that connected, you're gonna come over to here. You're gonna click on function panel. Okay. After clicking on function panel, you're gonna go ahead and click on network. Okay. We typically recommend that you have this box checked, obtain an IP address automatically. Uh, if you're doing this on the local monitor, it's gonna be obtain an IPv4 address automatically. Make sure that box is checked, okay? Uh, we typically recommend uh, <clears throat> getting rid of this check mark here. And of course, if you have your own DNS settings, you can put them in, but we typically recommend using Google's. So that's going to be 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And in the alternate, you're going to put in 8.8.4.4 .8 and you're going to hit apply. Uh, if you're doing this from a local monitor, apply is going to be in the bottom right. Okay. From there, you're going to go ahead and click on NAT. Okay. So You'll click on NAT, it's right here in the left-hand corner. If you're doing this from local monitor, it's gonna be at the top tab over to the right, okay? You just click on NAT. You're gonna see the QR code there. You're gonna make sure this has a check mark for enable and you're gonna hit apply, okay? You can stay on this screen, okay? Now the app that you install for the Paramount CMS is Paramount CMS. That's the name of it, that's how you spell it. No you in Paramount, okay? So that's the name of the app. Invid has a lot of different apps because we have a lot of different series and different products and different product lines. So just make sure you get the correct app because this system is only gonna work with that app, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and download the Paramount CMS. After downloading the Paramount CMS, you're gonna open that up. And I'm gonna verbally explain to you what to do now from there. From there, after you open up the app, you're gonna open up the menu for the app. If you have an iPhone, it's gonna be the three lines in the top left. Uh, if you have an Android, I, there is a menu option in the bottom left uh, to pull up the menu of your app. You open up the menu for the app, you're gonna click on server list. After clicking on server list, you're gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign in the top right. And then you're going to hit the square with the line going through it on the right hand side. Looks like a, a barcode scanner. Go ahead and click on that. It's gonna open up your camera on your phone or tablet device. And you're gonna go ahead and scan this QR code right off the web UI. You scan this QR code, it's gonna put this code in there for you automatically. Uh, where it says device name one, you can go ahead and name that whatever you'd like. That's just how the device is gonna show up in the list, okay? And then where it says username, it's gonna already have it filled in there for you. It's gonna be admin all lowercase. That is 
the username for your Paramount PMS. So that's why it fills it in automatically. And then you're just going to put in the password for your, D your DVR or your NVR. Okay, the default password for DVR NVR is one, two, three, four, five, six, which I'm sure you know already. Um, that being said, uh, if you change the, the password to the recorder, you're going to put in whatever you change it to. And then you're just going to hit uh, preview. After hitting preview, it's going to bring up like a little tutorial screen and it should connect almost instantly. And you should be good to go. And there you go, you got your cameras. All right, and that's how you add the cameras to your tablet or phone. Please check out some of our other YouTube videos to find out uh, other things about this series, any questions you might have, and some of our other product lines. Thank you for your time.